wondering that why it looks odd if a human face has a right eye near a right ear, right nostril extended towards the right ear and right eyebrow at the place of the right eye? It's weird. The answer is quite obvious. The face will look asymmetrical. And today, in this session, we will discuss symmetry. Symmetry means balance or form. Shapes, things or figures which have evenly balanced proportions are symmetrical in nature. Symmetry can be seen almost everywhere in daily life. The human face is a model of symmetry, complete with two eyes, two ears and a symmetric mouth. Symmetry is a mathematical operation or transformation that results in the same figure as the original figure or its mirror image. It is everywhere in the sciences, in the arts, in architecture, in nature and in our everyday life. The term symmetry is used both in the arts and in the sciences. In art, symmetry is often used as an aesthetic element. It is often used to mean a kind of balance in which corresponding parts are not necessarily alike but only similar. Artists, professionals, designers of clothing or jewellery, car manufacturers, architects and many others make use of the idea of symmetry. The flowers, the tree leaves, religious symbols, rugs and handkerchiefs, everywhere you find symmetrical designs. If a line can be drawn dividing the figure into two equal halves, then the figure is said to be symmetrical about that line. This line is called the line of symmetry or axis of symmetry. We can find examples of objects showing line symmetry in nature. For example, a butterfly, some leaves and flowers show line symmetry. Examples of line symmetry can also be found in many of our ancient and modern buildings. Objects that show line symmetry appear more balanced and beautiful. A figure may have just one or more than one line of symmetry. The line of symmetry of a line segment is its perpendicular bisector. The bisector of an angle is the line of symmetry of the angle. A kite shape has only one line of symmetry along one of the diagonals. A rectangle has two lines of symmetry along the line segments joining the midpoint of the opposite sides. An equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry along the line segments joining a vertex and its midpoint of its opposite sides. A square has four lines of symmetry along the diagonals and the line segments joining the midpoints of the opposite sides. A circle has an infinite number of lines of symmetry all along the diameters of the circle. A rhombus has two lines of symmetry along the diagonals. A semicircle has one line of symmetry along the perpendicular drawn on the diameter. A scalene triangle has no lines of symmetry. An isosceles triangle has one line of symmetry along the line segment joining the vertex and the midpoint of the unequal side. A parallelogram has no line of symmetry. When completing a given figure against a given line of symmetry, make sure that each part of the constructed figure is equal in measurement to its corresponding part in the given figure. Each point on the given figure and its corresponding point on the constructed figure are at the same distance from the line of symmetry. A figure is said to be symmetrical about a line if it is identical on either side of the line. Bilateral symmetry is the most common type of symmetry found in nature, occurring in almost all animals and many plants. In fact, humans are especially good at detecting bilateral symmetry when the axis of symmetry is oriented vertically. The heart and smiley each have a vertical axis of symmetry. If you draw the reflection line through any one of these figures, you will notice that for every point on one side of the line, there is a corresponding point on the other side of the line. If you connect any two corresponding points with a segment, that segment will be perpendicular to the axis of the symmetry and bisected it, cut into two equal length segments. Some objects or images can have more than one axis of symmetry. You know that a polygon is a closed figure 
made of several line segments. The polygon made up of the least number of line segments is the triangle. A polygon is said to be regular if all its sides are of equal length and all its angles are of equal measure. Thus, an equilateral triangle is a regular polygon of three sides. An equilateral triangle is a regular polygon because each of its sides have the same length and each of its angles measure 60 degrees. A line of symmetry divides an object so that the two halves perfectly match. Let's draw lines of symmetry of an equilateral triangle. We see an equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. This is because it has three equal sides and three equal angles. A square is also regular because all its sides are of equal length and each of its angles is a right angle that is a 90 degree. Its diagonals are seen to be perpendicular bisectors of one another. Remember, a square has four lines of symmetry, not eight. Be careful to only count each line once. If a pentagon is regular, naturally its side should have equal length. A regular pentagon has five lines of symmetry. It also has five angles of equal degrees and five sides of equal length. Furthermore, it is a regular polygon. The regular polygons are symmetrical figures and hence their lines of symmetry are quite interesting. Each regular polygon has as many lines of symmetry as it has sides. We say they have multiple lines of symmetry. Alright students, let's check. How many lines of symmetry a circle has? Yes, you got it right. Since there are infinite number of diameters in a circle and the circle is symmetrical about its diameter. Okay then, is it true that a semicircle will have half the number of lines of symmetry? Well, no. A semicircle has only one line of symmetry, namely the perpendicular bisector of the diameter. Let's find out the lines of symmetry for a scalene triangle and a parallelogram. Any guesses? Got it again. Both have no line of symmetry.